Welcome back. Um, before I go into this, this is not an anti-police thing at all. I, I completely stand against that. I support the police uh, in a whole. But this is the headline. Police are searching for a pro-life activist or activist who painted uh, Baby Lives Matter in front of Planned Parenthood Clinic in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Again, I went into this. UN taking over the police. They have no oath to the Constitution. These, I'm sure, are... I don't think there's some grand conspiracy behind the police searching for this other than <clears throat> they're doing this as if it's vandalism is what they're basically saying it is, even though Black Lives Matter is written on the street and then a blue line goes through it and then that's... that's <laughs> even though this is in their favor, not this specifically. Um, but we do have, with lower pay of police, worse cops uh, than we had years ago, uh, especially the chiefs put in the plow power. You just have, because a lot of police departments would say, no, we're not going after these people. Um, but then again, it is a form of vandalism, just like the Black Lives Matter mural. Uh, but that was paid for by tax dollars. This complete upside down world we're living in. According to a local CBS affiliate, uh, the mural, which is being referred to as vandalism, like I said, was spotted by the news team during an aerial shot Wednesday, after which they alerted authorities who they are, the authorities that are they're attacking, <laughs> basically. It's just crazy hypocrisy. Moving on. Anthony Hubner, the man police say was shot by Kyle Rittenhouse. I support this guy 100%, by the way. Um, he was getting He was out there, 17-year-old my age, out there guarding a store. <clears throat> was AR-15 and for some reason rubber gloves <coughs> I would be out in much better gear uh, out there standing one guy comes um, tries attacking him with a skateboard the other pulls a pistol he kills both of them or, or shoots them um, this is during the Kenosha Wisconsin riots it has two separate convictions that uh, stem from domestic violence charges and serve prison time for his offenses this is one of the persons that he, this is one of the guys that he killed was a, also a pedophile um, video suggests Hebner was the man who attacked Rittenhouse with a skateboard as the lead shooter attempted to flee the scene after shooting another man, convicted pedophile Joseph uh, Rosenbaum. As Rittenhouse ran toward police, vehicles approached the scene. Uh, Rosenbaum and others appeared to have tackled Rittenhouse. One man attacked him with a skateboard while the other man had a pistol pulled out on him. Uh, Hoover was arrested in 2012 for charges including domestic violence, use of dangerous weapons, uh, strangulation, and suffocation, false imprisonment, and battery. He was ultimately convicted of strangling and falsely imprisoning a person. Uh, Hubbard was sentenced to two years in prison uh, and was credited for 352 days. Served during his case, he was released f from probation for conviction in May of 2020. So, Again, he's being attacked for what he did, even though these are horrible, horrible people, and they get let out of the prisons right now because, oh, coronavirus, and we're shutting down the police, and it's just craziness and criminals everywhere. This is 2020. This is what we're living in. And <clears throat> like I always say, it's just going to get crazier and get worse, but we should be applauding this person for killing two <laughs> pieces of garbage off the street who were attacking him. It was self-defense, and these are what is Black Lives Matter and what is Antifa. Um, for the most part, a bunch of crackhead white people.